Hi, Angela. I put together this short audit on a listing that you have on Amazon, and it's my hope that I'll earn a phone call with you. Hi, my name is Sean, and I'm with the Seller Central Marketing Agency, my Amazon guy. So listen, I've got your listing pulled up right here. By the way, I'm a dog fan. I have a dog sitting next to me, which you can see. So I'm very excited about this product. I've read a lot, and it looks very interesting, something I'll probably use. Um, but before we dive into your listing, the first thing I want to do is kind of look under the hood and see what's going on behind the scenes. So utilizing Helium 10, I grabbed your ASIN and entered it in here just to get an idea of what's, like I said, going on behind the scenes. So here we've got the four-legger USDA certified organic dog shampoo, and it shows that you have 2,550 sponsored keywords, quite a lot and then close to 4,000 organic keywords. It looks like you've got a good mix. I'm curious, you've got quite a few sponsored keywords, how they're performing for you. Um, so let's dive down a little bit more and see. So Helium 10 shows your best organic ranking first. And here it shows that dog shampoo with a set or dog shampoo essential oil, you're ranked number one organically, dog shampoo vegan, so on and so forth. So you see that there. And of course, all of these, you have sponsored listings too as well here. So I want to look here at your sponsored rank and see. So Mercola Pet uh, is your first one, although not a lot of search volume there. Itchy dog, not a lot of search volume. Organic dog shampoo, that completely makes sense. I like that. Um, puppy shampoo naturally. So so of these where you're, you're investing in, you know, sponsored keywords, the search volume, if you see here, is not that high. So let's kind of mix it up. And I know this is a really competitive category, but let's mix it up and see where that search traffic really is coming from guinea pig toys dog shampoo this one really surprised me because you've got such a great product but you have no sponsor in dog shampoo uh, pet hair remover you're not in there at all dog hair remover not at all and these are very high you can see it here uh, searched keywords dog shampoo and conditioner i was really surprised with this there's not a lot of competing products and you've got room to earn more traffic uh, which is going to result in conversion so there's definitely some work we can do on the back end there and just as a reminder it's not set it and forget it it is something that you constantly have to massage and continue working on a regular basis so going back to your listing here and I am going to move my image so that I can look at yours. I love your first image. Um, I would maybe look at putting, you know, a box by it or something to break it apart from that white background, um, but it is a good image. Um, and then I noticed that you've taken up five images plus your video. You do have room for one more, one or two more. Um, so as much as you can put in here, I would. I do like that you have an image of the dog being shampooed um, and then other images. Maybe having a human in some of these might be worthwhile, but overall, I think you've done a good job. Um, here on your title, you did a great job taking advantage of the character count. One thing I did notice, and I've spent some time on your store, you've got a lot of great products, but I don't see any parentage here. So, you know, can they buy a set of two? Can they buy three? Um, are there any other scents, anything else that they can, uh, you know, order? And, you know, just by adding that in here, that will increase so many things for you. Uh, scrolling down, though, looking at your bullet points, it looks like you've done a great job of using your characters within each bullet point, and I think that that's fantastic. Here's why that's so important. You want to push those competitors down. Now, let's look at your A-plus content and product description. Ah, you don't have any uh, A-plus content. That's unfortunate. So you've got your product description. A plus content is imperative and you've got such a great story behind, you know, with the cancer, your dog having cancer, and then really, really working to find the right uh, uh, combination of um, ingredients to make the shampoo. So there's such a good story behind your brand that we really need to exploit it. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples here. Uh, the first is going to be another dog shampoo that I found. Um, I'm sure you've seen this one, but I'm going to scroll down here. 
and it's made by Burt's Bees. We're all familiar with that brand. As we scroll down, A plus content is what I'm looking for. And this is it. This is from the manufacturer. Okay. And what's nice about this is look, it, it talks about, you know, its brand. It shows that there are other, you know, scents, sizes, other products available. Having A plus content does so many things for you. It increases your average order value. It will uh, obviously help with indexing you higher organically. Um, it will really blast your brand and it's going to keep competitors further down on those sponsored listings that show up on your listing. Um, so having a plus content is imperative. And then the other thing I noticed real quick while I'm on your product description is you don't have anything behind your images here. Um, which helps drive organic traffic. So empty here behind your image, no text there. Definitely need to add some text behind your images. So there's quite a bit of work um, and I'm sure that we can help you. Again, my name is Sean with my Amazon guy. Please in the email, you see at the very bottom, there's a link, book a call and it will open up a calendar once you click on that. Go ahead and schedule a free 30 minute consultation with myself and I'll do everything I can to try and get our founder, Stephen Pope, in there with us. But again, thanks so much for watching and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.